Alright, in today's video, I'm playing a new game called Undone. I've been waiting quite a while for this game, not like a year or anything, just a few months, but it's very much like the game Life After. It's the Life After I played on this channel, I think, twice, but this is going to be a big upgrade to that. I'm just gonna get right in. If you want to try and find me in game, this is the server I'll be playing on. <laughs> All right, we gotta pick our character, then customize. These are the defaults to start off with. Basically picking our gender and a little base point to start off. A little cool thing about this character customization is you can actually take a picture. Hey, it's been a while since I showed my face on this channel. Not too bad, I guess. Let's try again and see what we get. Maybe some better lighting. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. It's not that different. Then, really all you can customize here is like the face. There's not really too much body customization. Makeup, blah, blah, blah. You can actually save a character that you like. So I'm actually gonna load in one. Boom. Already made mine. Just to save some time. But I have not entered the game yet. Mm, do you know what? I'm just going to keep it Dusty WD and not going to add a YT. Maybe if I can change my name later, I might add it in. Ooh, starting off with a cutscene. Okay, this is a different start from uh, the beta. I did play the beta a little bit. Well, it looks like he's getting attacked, but he's just like, yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, apparently, I gotta get my ass out of here. Okay, well... Hmm. This is the same place we do start. They just added in a cutscene. That's actually really cool. So I think I know how everything else plays out from here. Well, to a certain point. Because I did not play much. And I guess before I actually start playing, I should... Mess around with the settings if I can find them. 
Where's the settings? So oh, settings here. Controls. Perfect. Now, I guess I'm just gonna have to cut for a little bit. Because it's probably gonna take me a while to set up everything. So, be right back. Two hours later. Alright, I'm done setting up my controls just for now. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what I made it to look like. Now that's all done. Oh wait, I also changed this setting for the scope. I uh, changed the tap to the hold because I want it to be more like Call of Duty. Okay, I guess uh, we can start this mission. Picking up a backpack. It's getting dark. Getting on our way. This place will be crawling with zombies any minute. I should go. Hey. I need weapons. Our characters and have might be able to find voice acting. gas stop. They really care about this game. Those are zombies. Gotta be careful. It'll be up is that a gas stop over there? Hopefully it's safe in there. I'm not in the uh -oh. mood to get hurt by the antibodies. Need to find some. I hope the scavengers haven't cleaned this place out yet. Damn, it's empty. Um, just follow the line. Oh. Antibodies. These will be useful later. Read. I don't think I'm going to read all that. Yeah, no. Thanks, Hermia. Ooh. Zombies. Oh, oh, right there. These monsters just don't know where to stop. Ooh, shotgun is nice. Oh, double kill. I didn't even see you. Gunshots will that's a junkyard. I can't believe this thing still works. Ooh, the aim. Slow down. Stay quiet. Maybe the zombies won't hear you. Try and see if I can loot more. Ooh. Going in loud and proud over here. Ooh, motorcycle. Okay. Wait, I was supposed to do a mission where I was supposed to repair it. What happened to that? I guess this one did, just didn't need repairing. Stop. This is the Raven's 
shelter. If there's anyone out there, any survivors, please answer. We're at... Looks like we start off just with a motorcycle and we can unlock more cooler vehicles in the future. Ooh, that's gangsta. I like the truck. This is pretty cool as well. All right, I guess uh, we talk to these people. Who's there? Show me your pass. I don't got a pass. Oh, we even get options on what we can say. You certainly don't look like an attacker. If you want to enter the shelter, you'll have to register and get checked first. Come with me. I'll take you to the inspection. Over here. Do you know what? I'm gonna right here, please. put my gun away. We appreciate your cooperation. Welcome to the Raven Just shelter. straight to the front of the line. Inspected and registered before you can go inside. Multiple wounds. Were you attacked by zombies? Uh, maybe a little. Doctor Michael, please come to the entrance. Someone is wounded. Yeah, look at all these people just waiting. Yeah, I just skip right in front. A new survivor? Don't be nervous. This is the Raven Shelter. You're safe here. Am I? Am I really? Since this is your first time in the shelter, we need to perform a health and safety check for security purposes. I hope you don't mind. Uh, sure. Let's, Thank you. Let's just oh, go by the with way, the This is Dr. Michael. That's what I would He'll probably in say in real life. And treatment. She said we gotta go with him. Oh, we're already leveling up. Look at that. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael, and I manage all medical operations in the Raven Shelter. Sometimes I also travel to other outposts to provide medical support. Let me take a look at your wounds. Is Michael your first or last name? Like, normally it would be the last name, right? Well, it sounds well, more like a first name. Just a few scratches. All you need is a bandage and a good night's rest. Follow me. I'll find you a place to rest. Yeah, we're just gonna have to this go way. through the whole Slow tutorial. Down. I'm not as young as I used to be. Look at this place. <laughs> Can you believe that at first there was nothing here but a pile of rubble? I still remember those days. Cain, Sherry, Catherine. The Ravens built all this and gave the shelter a new purpose. There was no farmland or pasture along the river, only wilderness. It was Cain who led everyone to find seeds and livestock. I don't know how many all-nighters Catherine had to pull to get the signal tower and the helicopters up and running. She might not talk much, but she gets stuff done. Hey, do you know what? That's why she gets stuff done. She's not wasting time talking. Children adore her. You can stay here tonight. I'm sure you'll love it. Talk to the doctor again? Oh, uh, you'll also need this device. Let's see if I can find it. Jeez, I really am getting old. My memory isn't what it used to be. I think I left it in the living room. Getting old? It's a really Motherfucker, cool you already old. Once you register, 
you'll be able to check every single thing about your physical condition. In many cases, this device might even be more important than your weapons. Eh, sounds good. I'll uh, go to take a look. It should be on the coffee table. Yeah, let's go with that room. one. Let's be polite. Whoa. Okay. Pick up. Ah, oh, cutscenes. From the survival gauge? Most likely. <sighs> what a day. <sighs> Let me take a bath and get to bed. I think I'm actually farther than I was now. Because it's, once I got to this camp, I just didn't talk to that uh, lady at the front. So I just kind of free roamed. Since it was just the beta. So, it's telling me I gotta use the restroom. Nice. It's been a while since I had a hot bath. Well, this is kind of awkward. Well, tonight. Looks really comfy. Man, I wonder how many dudes are gonna make a girl character just so they can watch their character take a bath. Uh, take a sleep. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Finally, a good night's sleep. Up and at him. This is amazing. I feel alive again. My numbers should be pretty good now. Ugh, my stomach's a little upset. Time for a bathroom break. A lot of reading in this game. Not happy about that one. And it's going to get a little annoying needing to uh, take shits. Where'd the kitty go? Where, I wanted to pet the kitty. Ah, oh, fuck it. Where now? My clothes. What are all these stains? I think I made my character's eyes a little grease, too blue. Mud. Well, I guess my expedition yesterday was pretty eventful. Stand this anymore. I should wash up. Uh, these have to be washed. I think the washing machine's downstairs. Oh, uh, th that's another thing that might get a little annoying. Oh, look, another reason for dudes to make girl characters to see them in their undies. still works? I'm not dreaming, am I? Glad you had a good night's sleep. I had to be on guard all night in case you did anything crazy. If you did, I would have busted in your room like bam bam bam. Oh wow, well, you seem friendly. I'm not kidding. Outside of this shelter, there's a lot of crazy shit trying to sneak in here. But you don't look like one of them. <laughs> Welcome to the Raven's Shelter. Doesn't matter if I look like one of them. Maybe I'm just gonna go crazy on this camp. I heard you and Sherry are friends. If you're looking for her, just follow the road to the right. She should be at the Memorial Wall. 
I'm pretty sure we just met, and she's already calling me a friend. Red flag. Is she that hard up for friends? To making friends with anyone who just walks into the camp? I didn't expect to see you again so soon. You should rest more. You were hurt pretty bad. Uh, just a few scratches. No big deal. What are you all doing here? Is that Kane over there? We're getting ready for the memorial service later today. You can go talk to Kane. He's the leader of the Raven Squad. And the shelter. Um, yeah. Just a lot of talking. Good to see you again. As the leader of the shelter, I'd like to officially extend my warmest welcome to you. Soon you'll find that Raven Shelter's a good place. It's different from any shelters you've stayed at before. We're holding a ceremony for those who died during the Lost City Battle. Please take a flower. By the way, something I need to talk with you about. Meet you at the command center after the service. Um, okay, putting down flowers, yay, cutscene. Well, that was a quick cutscene. Guess we just talked to this chick Saying again. goodbye to even more of our friends. I can't remember how many times we've had to do this in the past four years. But it never gets easier. When I decided to become a medic and study under Dr. Michael, I was hoping to help more people. But there's still so many I couldn't save. Yeah, that's how it goes. Can't save There's them all. There's a lot I can do in the shelter. But once we step outside, we have to guard against our own kind too. Former gangsters, criminals, and mercenaries. We've lost a lot of good people to them. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought this up. Life is hard for everyone. I shouldn't let this negativity get to me. Uh, this comfort hurt. No worries, Sherry. We all have those moments. If talking about it helps, then I'm happy to share some of your burden. Thanks for saying that. I feel better already. I applied for access to the shelter's radio station for you yesterday. You just need to talk to our communication specialist, Matilda, to get on the channel. Are you the survivor from the lost city? Whoa, calm down you there, buddy. I'm glad I kept calling on the radio yesterday. Before I add you to the channel, let me tell you about the Ravens. What would you like to know? I would like to know if that motherfucker can stop revving his damn car. This, this, this place used to be one of the temporary history lesson. rescue camps. Kane, Catherine, and Dr. Michael were all serving here. When the disaster broke out four years ago, they lost communication with the headquarters. But refugees kept coming in. So Kane led the refugees and soldiers to build this place into a shelter. I was one of the refugees. If they didn't take me in, I would have been wolf meat a long time ago. Yeah, wouldn't have been that much of a meal for them e either. <laughs> At first, things were really tough. We were always short of food, medicine, and weapons. And we had to fend off all those... things out there. But we pulled through. We managed to expand the shelter to the size it is today. We even have a stable power supply and tap water. Huh. Huh. Tap water's good. Just not for drinking. I definitely would not drink it in a zombie apocalypse. The shelter, founded by Kane, started off as the Raven Squad. 
The members were Sherry, Catherine, Roman, Tang, and Yevgeny. Ye what kind of name is Yevgeny? But Yevgeny went missing during a mission. He looked scary, but he was actually very kind. Anyway, maybe Kane will tell you more. I don't know why, but I've got a feeling he thinks pretty highly of you. I just got here and people already being like, yeah, this this guy's the shit. By the way, don't forget to tune in on the radio. The set's right there on the table. Be sure to say hi to everyone when you're connected. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, apparently I have to do that. This is probably going to be one of those games where it makes you be social. It's been four years since a disaster hit. I'd expected things to calm down by now, but as you can see, the world is still going through radical changes. Yeah, that's right, brother. I hear you. Zombies are getting more restless, and they're growing in number. It means a second round of mutation is happening right now. Those crooks and bandits out there have also acquired more firepower and fortified their bases. Ah, uh, not crooks and bandits. All these things are pointing to a new crisis. The Ravens need people we can rely on more than ever. From the very bottom of my heart, I hope that you will join the Raven Squad and become one of us. Ah, we'll see. Sounds like there's other options out there. Listen to me, my friend. I know this is all very sudden, but we really don't have much time. The survivors here at the Raven Shelter... No, <laughs> actually, all the survivors everywhere were hanging by a thread. If we're not cautious, the consequences will be unthinkable. We don't want to become thugs and murderers, but... We have no intention of losing our home either. So we and all the survivors have to work together and form a strong alliance. Maybe I do want to become a thug or a murderer. This is the only way to protect ourselves and give everyone in a chance game. to live. But trust is a luxury in the world today. I'm sure you've experienced that. No one wants to trust anyone other than themselves. An alliance? Good. It's almost laughable. So we have to prove it with what we do, whatever the cost might be. We're fi just oh, receiving shit. a stress call from Redwoods. Collect. They're under siege by zombies. Oh, yay. They actually call them zombies instead of some random name. Hell, Will Smith was calling them the Undawned. Which is like, no, that's, that's just the name of the game. we come to their aid, they'll be willing to strengthen the bond between us and consider forming an alliance. I hope you'll be willing to protect Sherry and assist the Redwoods outpost with her. There's still some time before you have to move out. You can go talk to Catherine. She's our tactical expert. She'll be able to give you some pointers. Welcome to the Ravens. I look forward to good news from you. I'm Catherine, former rescue squad lieutenant, currently in charge of the shelter's defense and tactical operations. And a Laura Croft wannabe. I heard about what you did in the junkyard, so I trust that you know your firearms. But since you're new to the Ravens, I think that there are some other things you should know. Besides Raven, there are a number of smaller shelters scattered across the continent, and we call them outposts. Like the Redwood outpost that you're going to. All the outposts are expanding and developing, so you can get all kinds of missions from them. But the more lucrative missions, such as clearing a nearby zombie lair, will only be available after you earn an outpost's trust. Well, that's probably enough information for now. Take this outfit. It'll help you adapt to the Redwood Forest's environment. You can also get ammo and food supplies from the goods merchant and Linda. Monitor your supplies through the survival gauge. Catherine's right. 
Dangerous everywhere. I have to be prepared. Oh, cool. Just got a new uh, jacket. Wait, can we take a look at it? Yeah. Look and fly. What are you looking to buy? That ass. Mm, how much for the ass? For you to bend it over for me? Okay, yeah, enough of that. Once outside, only trust your weapon. This is some and your dog. Welcome, buddy. Hi, I'm Clint, your friendly neighborhood merchant. If you need supplies, I'm your guy. This guy definitely growing some weed. Dude, you got that kush? Let me guess. You're new to the shelter, right? It's your lucky day. We have great deals today. If you buy 500 or more bullet shells, we'll give you the gunpowder for free. Damn. You will need both to craft your own bullets. Bullets are good too. Craft some ammo boxes. Oh, okay, so I can pull a, a fresh ammo box or one that I'm already using. I don't want to use it. I've got enough ammo. Still need food and water. I already told you what I want to buy. Welcome, welcome, our new friend. These supplies are for you, free of charge. Did you just change your voice on me? You, you had more of a, like, cuter voice. Now, you just went all deep. But that's a perk for new members only. Not too You're deep. You're on your own for supplies from now on. You can probably imagine how tough it is to sustain a shelter this size in an environment like this. Captain Kane needs to see you. Please go to the command center. No, oh, gotta go back over there. Gotta go talk to the cowboy over here. Dude, how do I get your hat? Looks like you're ready. Sherry's waiting for you to hang her. Looking forward to your safe return. Remember, hope always survives. Hmm. I don't know about that. My hope ha for this world has died a couple times. And I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the real world. Dr. Michael left for the Redwood Outpost at dawn. I heard things are bad there. Let's move out as soon as we can. All right, we get to take a heli. Before we get to Redwoods, let me tell you more about the place. They often have missions posted. I'm sure you'll cross paths with them again in the future. Redwood Outpost used to be a wood processing plant near the logging camp. After the disaster broke out, the workers who survived came together and built a fortified outpost using the timber available. The Redwood folks are skilled builders and woodworkers. They make sturdy defensive walls and building materials, which are essential resources to the Raven Shelter, as well as the key to defending against zombies. This operation. The outpost had been under siege before. But zombies in this situation sounds definitely more serious this time. 
Ooh, I better get a good gun for this. I don't think a shotgun's going to do it. Turn on my uh, fan for on oh, my controller here. Take care of the okay. Well, looks like I don't get a better gun still yet. The gate's about to be breached. We need backup. Yeah, my phone's starting to get a little hot. Save this guy. Oh, whoa. We got a jumper. Yeah, no, I just had to do it with the shotgun. It worked. Shotgun's pretty good. I'll give it that. Okay, just gotta go talk to this person. Finally here. Where's everybody else? Either Kane has gone mad, or you're out of your mind. Here, take this decoy bomb. Use it to attract the ordinary zombies. More zombies are coming. Back up. We need backup. Oh, okay. I'm getting slimed. Wow, that was kind of a weak zombie, though. But look at that ass, boy! Shut my gun up in there. Just thanks for everything you did for us. It's a new area that we're expanding to. It's close to the river and has lots of animals and plants. Zombies aren't sighted as much up there either. We all want you to have it. Please. Don't want to do that yet. Okay, put on the new pants. That's what I want to do first. Barely can see them. Hmm. All right, where am I going now? Sherry speaking. I'm at the homestead. You can build your own safe house here. Come Ooh. and meet me. Just unlocking new things. Got a new hat. Not a big fan of the hat. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Vehicles. Let me spawn it. How do I spawn my vehicle? Was I supposed to pick it up at the beginning? Oh no. Where's my vehicle, man? Looks like Redwood Outpost wanted to build a new residential zone here. But I wonder how long it will take them to recover this time. There's still a lot of wood and equipment, so we might be able to make something. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm at the point where I'm just going to be building my house. So, I think I'll end this video here. And do a house building video next time. So hopefully we'll we don't have to do too much of that and we can get to the action. So like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.
thank you for watching and peace out.